wasn't worried, worried, worried. I ain't in a hurry, hurry, hurry. I know success is coming. Yo, what is up, buddy? T C and today's video, guys, will be another little talk through slash like walk through whatever type of video not normal gameplay but i hope you guys enjoy the little he40 back when decides to use he40 because it's kind of like the mp40 it kind of resembles what i'm talking about but in today's video i'm talking about the world war ii class system that they're not going to be having a created class so we all know that throughout the 10 12 year cycle of call of duty we have always had created class so i just want to know in the comment section down below do you guys, are you guys hype for World War II or are you guys not hype? Are you guys buying it or are you guys are not buying it? I want to know this. So leave comments down below if you guys are buying it, if you guys are not buying it. But right before this video starts, guys, go ahead and smash that like button down below, guys. Turn on my post notifications, you guys never miss another upload. And let's get into this. So create class system, we all know and love. It's been in Call of Duty for years and years and years. There's going to be maybe some downsides of not creating class and some upsides. The downside about it is is like now we won't be able to know people won't be able to have those op like class setups in their guns it's going to be normal have attachment everyone has but the like the good start of it is it's something new to call of duty but once again we've always had created class systems so i believe i should talk to you guys about this and let us know if you guys think we should have created classes or we should not. I personally, I'm kind of upset they don't have it because it's always been in Call of Duty, so we kind of need it. But there's gonna be two things on the screen, guys, right now. This is the quote that I saw is in the Q&A post. Sledgehammer Games revealed a few more details of the new created class system of Call of Duty World War II MP. But Divisions is a new system and fundamentally refunds new how players invent in their multi so basically it reminds me of a battlefield type is they're just taking a battlefield that if you guys know battlefield head you have like a submachine gun a saw rifle a heavy a sniper basically what call of duty has you have five set of guns you have a shotgun basically there's a shotgunner probably you got a sniper a heavy a submachine gun and like a guy that goes around and revives people so basically i can call you without the reviving this is another quote guys these are going to be the five divisions that they have is called airborne mountain in Ferry, Armory, and I don't know how to pronounce that last one, but Airborne. First of flight where you move fast and sprint and stay quietly. This reminds me of mostly, it's probably going to be like a submachine gun probably with the guys who have like dead silence and all these type of perks like a normal submachine gun player has. The second one, focus on this, a deadly start, sharpshooting. That reminds me of more of like a, probably a sniper I think. More of like a sniper to me. Infirmary, be the tip of the spear. Basically, I have a feeling that's going to be like a saw rifle mostly is what I, I think it might be and then army bring the heaviest firepower obviously they're talking about just uh lmgs heavies and then the last one for us packing heat with in steered shells that one might be a saw rifles or that one might be i'm assuming that's going with shotguns because it's packing heat with shells and mostly the good thing about world war ii it's going to be more realistic than these next three call of duties that they've made so the shotguns are probably going to be back from world war ii and now if you guys saw the world war ii gameplay you guys know what i'm talking about i decided i wanted to bring you guys this so now i'm gonna go back and talk to you about the each of these so like airborne i have a feeling airborne's gonna be more of like an assault rifle i mean submachine gun that you'll be able to move quietly around the map and i have a feeling that they're gonna put this into us where there's gonna be five different missions but to level up each mission, you're going to have to go back and level them up. So it's kind of like Infinite Wars mission teams. How you have you have four mission teams to start out with, or five I think it is. And then you level up one mission team to 50, then you can move on to the other one. But obviously me, I won't probably won't be using the submachine guns that much. I mean heavies that much, because I'm not really a heavy type of person. I am on the map, but World War II maps are mostly the best maps probably. Because like, I'm going off of how World War, World, War, World War was, World at War was. So I'm hoping that it's, I kind of saw there a little bit, my bad. I'm hoping that it's kind of set up just like that. So it all depends on the map. You already know some of the guns that are leaked are like the M1 Grands, MP40, Thompson. Basically every gun that was in War at War. So then the mountain mostly is deadly sharpshooting. I'm going to try sniping a little bit in that game. I might see how it is. The sniping did look really easy in the, like, the beta. So I'm debating on if the sniping is going to be easy. Inferno be the tip of the spear. I'm assuming that's going to be like the saw rifle as I already said. So basically, the saw rifles, once again, when I'm talking about the divisions, I'm, I have a feeling it's going to be just like Battlefield, where it's going to be, you're going to have like six submachine guns for in that division, and you can pick six submachine guns, and then there's supposedly no perks either, so I don't know what they're going to do, do, I don't know what they're going to be doing with the perks, it's going to be like a dead silence, sight of hands, it's going to be like, I have a feeling it's just going to be just like Battlefield again, what I've been saying this whole entire game. It's going to be like Battlefield, I think, just for the how the divisions work. 
But I don't know, there hasn't been any really leaked yet, anything. I'm hoping that in August I get the beta. I'm going to be playing a lot of that, guys, making videos. So I think it's going to be set up where it's going to be like a division, and you're going to have like probably a submachine gun, let's say. You're going to have like six or seven different guns to pick from. And then same thing with side rifles, submachine guns, heavies, and shotguns. You have five or six different guns to use. Probably going to have a secondary, and then one's going to have grenades, let's say, one's going to have C4s. One's going to have gas grenades, and one's going to have tacticals. It's going to be set up all different. It's going to make us be playing a complete different play style than we are used to, by, for sure. They're not going to be having any people. Honestly, you can run and gun, but I don't know how the kill streaks are. The kill streaks in my last video I did, they looked like they were like care package UAVs and lightning strike or something like that. But really excited for this Call of Duty. And then also, too, is the creative class system. This is something I really want to talk about the next, like, three, four minutes in this video is we've always had creative class in every Call of Duty. I've already said this before. Like, it is, that's what Call of Duty is known for is creative class. That's why it was so unique and different and everyone wanted to play Call of Duty was because you had the creative class system. Now, as they're removing it out of the game, I'm just, I'm worried that this might just screw up the whole Call of Duty Thing for every one of us and a lot of people might not enjoy but everyone's hyped for world war 2 i have a feeling i'm just hoping it doesn't get too hyped like what infinite warfare did but obviously the like to dislike ratio on infinite warfare to world war 2 the infinite warfare's dislike i think was maybe one of the most dislikes video of all time on youtube like with like two or three million dislikes that's a that's a shit ton that's a lot world war 2 has not had that yet it had a good feedback because it's boots on ground that's one thing i like the most is i'm a really huge boots on ground type of player i played world war two like all the boots on ground call of duty i played more than on these type of call of duties because a lot of these call of duties are kind of boring after years when you got people jumping over you and stuff it is unique because if you can match the movement it's a lot easier but boots on ground i think is more of a throwback so i'm happy what sledgehammer did i'm happy that sledgehammer makes a good call of duty but once again, too, the creative classes, and that's what made Call of Duty so unique was there was creative class. Now they're not going to have creative class in this Call of Duty. So I'm just curious on if they're going to bring back creative class and knock this Call of Duty and next Call of Duty. Or basically, are they taking another route for this whole three-year cycle? Is there going to be no creative class in the next three Call of Duties? And it's going to push everyone to the side of Call of Duty. So that's what I'm That's what I'm not worried of. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think the same as me. Is do you think that this is what Call of Duty is going to do? The next three years of cycle, they're not going to have. It's going to be boots on the ground with no created class, and I have a feeling that it's just going to be pushing people away from Call of Duty. And I think Call of Duty might go downhill from here. But I'm hoping that Sledgehammer looks like it's picking its crap up after the negative feedback in Infinite Warfare. As you guys can see, I don't play Infinite Warfare that much because the views on my channel is not the best in that. It's really bad, obviously. It's like it gets like 20, 30 views. I upload a BO a Black Ops 3 videos. It gets like 12, 14 views in like an hour. So obviously, you guys like seeing Black Ops 3 way more, and I do miss playing this game a lot. But I'm gonna be bringing you guys a lot more gameplays here, and I have about a couple more videos planned for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave the like down below, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on my post notifications, like I said in the beginning, guys. And I'm TC, guys. I'm signing out. Yeah. Yeah. This summer too real, I been down a drill Lil savvy down a gill, 40 on me let it spill Headshot, headshot, free smoke, free smoke B.I.P. that's bro, done deal, you know You give me the space and I'm pulling up on you from deep